Good afternoon. Welcome to Friday's Inside Look by Brooks. Steve Brooks here. Hope everybody had a great week. Um, once again, we are having our afternoon rains. I personally am enjoying all the rain because it um, it keeps the weather cooler. I, I enjoy cooler weather. Um, the, the downside of all the rain is when it does get hot, it's a steam bath because there's a lot of moisture in the air. So with a lot of rain, we as personal injury attorneys, we see more accidents because rain makes for slippery roads and dangerous conditions. Um, and it's that much more dangerous with motorcycles. We, um, we see a lot of motorcycle accidents. Typically a motorcycle accident will be a lot more severe because the motorcycle driver is not protected by the, uh, the outside of a car. They're, they're basically out in the elements themselves. One of the startling statistics out there is that Florida is number one, the number one state in the nation for motorcycle deaths. And I think we can understand that we're a big state. Uh, so people are riding motorcycles year round. We don't have snow to deal with, um, but we do have a lot of bad weather. And when they're out there riding in the weather, they are much more susceptible to a bad thing happening to them than if you're in a car. So um, some more statistics that might you might find interesting. In 2017, there were 5,172 motorcycle riders killed and 89,000 motorcyclists were injured across the United States. That's a lot of, that's a lot of injuries. Um, if you're on a motorcycle versus being in a car, you have a 20, 27 times greater chance of being killed being on a motorcycle than you do if you're in a car. So I don't, I haven't ridden a motorcycle in, in quite some time, but as a car driver, knowing that there are some things I can do and that you can do to help keep those motorcyclists from, from being injured or killed. Your blind spots, you know, my car has a certain blind spot when people are coming up on the left or the right. And I always will turn and look and not rely on my, uh, my warning indicator. With motorcyclists, that is even more important because um, if I start to move, if a, if a motorcycle is passing in the left lane and I start to move in the left lane, a car can even collide with me and the driver's still going to be okay. But a motorcyclist, if you collide with a motorcyclist, he's likely to go off the road and crash and be killed. Blind spots. Be, please be extra careful of blind spots. If you're in a car and you're passing somebody, especially a motorcyclist, just be extra aware. Bad weather. As I said, the motorcyclist is out there in the weather. You know, they're feeling the rain, the noise of the rain. They have a helmet on that interferes with some of their visual acuity to the right and left. So they have a lot more to deal with when it's raining. So you have to be extra, extra aware and think about, put yourself in that motorcycle driver's position if you were out there. Turn signals. Motorcyclists can, um, can pick up speed a lot quicker than us and sometimes they pass too fast. And if you don't indicate that you're turning, you could turn right in front of one and it could be tragic. So just be aware of how mobile they are and use that turn signal. Don't tailgate. When it's inclement weather, when it's raining, uh, motorcyclists, they're not gonna have the stopping speed. They're gonna be more likely to slip and slide and the slip and sliding in a motorcycle is much more dangerous than a car dim your headlights and last but not least just use common sense drive defensively i have a lot of good friends who drive motorcycles and they they're very careful they they get together as group in groups and they do fun things um, and they're very cognizant of safety and they the most motorcyclists that i know are very safety conscious but it is a dangerous thing to be out there on a motorcycle so to all my car driving and truck driving friends, I plead with you to watch out for our, our friends and family who are out there on motorcycles because we want to keep them safe too. 
So thank you for joining me. If you have any questions about this subject or anything, you can always contact me, Steve at brookslawgroup.com. And I look forward to joining you next Friday for Friday's Inside Look at by Brooks at 3 o'clock next Friday. Thank you.